Do you have these top 5 most ultra rare Washington quarter dollars to look for your pocket change? The following list is a chart of the most expensive Washington quarter dollars. Most of these are auction prices. Several private sale prices over $1. Millions dollars are not in this list yet. All of the world's most valuable Washington quarter dollars was minted in the United States, though there are a few exceptions. Here's a look at 5 rare Washington quarter dollar that are worth 6 figures or more. The, 19, the 1967 Washington Quarter is part of the long-running series of Washington Quarters that began in 1932. The Washington Quarter was originally introduced to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. It quickly became a permanent part of American coinage, replacing the Standing Liberty Quarter. Over time, the Washington Quarter has undergone several changes in its design, composition, and production, reflecting broader trends and changes within the U.S. Mint and American society. The Washington Quarter was originally made from 90% silver and 10% copper. However, due to rising silver prices and a nationwide coin shortage in the early 1960s, the U.S. Mint made significant changes to the coin's composition. The Coinage Act of 1965 mandated the elimination of silver from dimes and quarters, leading to the introduction of a new copper-nickel-clad composition for these coins. Production of the 1967 Washington Quarter The 1967 Washington Quarter was struck during a period of high demand for circulating coinage. The U.S. Mint produced an enormous number of these coins to meet the needs of the economy, as the nation was still recovering from the coin shortage of the early 1960s. In 1967 alone, over 1.5 billion Washington quarters were minted, making it one of the most common dates for the series. Because of the large production numbers and the lack of a mint mark, 1967 Washington quarters are widely available today and are generally not considered rare or valuable in most conditions. However, the sheer number of coins produced also meant that the quality of the strikes could vary, with some coins exhibiting weak details or poorly defined features. Varieties and Errors While the 1967 Washington Quarter is not known for having any particularly notable varieties, there are still a few errors and anomalies that can be found among the coins from this year. Some of these include, Double die obverse, although not as prominent as in some other years, a double die obverse, DDO, error can sometimes be found on 1967 quarters. This error occurs when the die used to strike the coins is misaligned, resulting in a doubling of some of the design elements on the obverse. Coins with this error can be more valuable to collectors. Clipped planchets, a clipped planchet occurs when the metal blank, planchet, that is used to strike the coin is not properly cut, resulting in a coin with a curved or straight section missing. Clipped planchets can vary in size and shape, and while they are relatively common as errors go, they are still of interest to error coin collectors. Off-center strikes, an off-center strike occurs when the planchet is not properly aligned with the dies during the striking process, resulting in a coin that is not centered correctly. The degree of the off-center strike can vary, and coins that are significantly off-center can be quite valuable. Die cracks and cuts, die cracks occur when the die used to strike the coins develops a crack, resulting in raised lines or cracks on the surface of the coin. A cud is a more severe form of die crack where a portion of the die breaks away, leaving a raised, blob-like area on the coin. These types of errors can add interest and value to a coin. Value of the 1967 Washington Quarter The value of a 1967 Washington Quarter depends on several factors, including its condition, any errors or varieties it may have, and the overall demand for the coin among collectors. In general, 1967 quarters are very common and can often be found in circulation even today, so their value in circulated condition is usually just face value, 25 cents. Mint State 63, MS 63A 1967 Washington Quarter in MS 63 condition might be valued at around $30 to $50. These coins will have a good strike, full details, and minimal marks or abrasions. Mint State 65, MS 65 A 1967 quarter in MS 65 condition could be worth around $100 to $500. These coins are well struck with strong luster and only minor imperfections. Mint State 67, MS 67, in very high grades, such as MS 67, the value of a 1967 Washington quarter can increase significantly, potentially reaching $1,000 or more. Coins in this condition are nearly flawless, with sharp details and brilliant luster. Coins with recognized errors or varieties, such as the double die obverse, can be worth more, depending on the rarity and demand for that specific error. For example, a 1967 Washington Quarter with a well-defined double die obverse could be valued at $1,500 or more, depending on the severity of the doubling and the overall condition of the coin. The 1966 Washington Quarter is an intriguing piece in American numismatics, especially when discussing specimens with center of strike issues. These issues, typically involving misaligned dies or off-center strikes, create unique and valuable variations of the coin. 
To fully appreciate the 1966 Washington Quarter with a center of strike issue, it's important to delve into its historical context, minting process, error types, and the coin's value in today's market. The year 1966 is particularly notable in the history of the Washington Quarter due to the ongoing transition in U.S. coinage. In 1965, the U.S. Mint stopped using silver in the production of dimes, quarters, and half dollars due to rising silver prices and a national coin shortage. As a result, quarters minted in 1965 and later were composed of a copper nickel clad, making the 1966 quarter part of the first full year of non-silver quarters. The minting process and error types, the minting process is complex and involves several steps, each with the potential for errors that can lead to the creation of collectible coins. For the 1966 Washington quarter, the process would have included the following steps, planchet preparation, a planchet is a blank metal disc that is eventually struck to become a coin. Planchets are cut from large sheets of metal and then prepared for striking. Striking, the prepared planchets are fed into a coin press where they are struck between two dies, the obverse die, for the coin's front, and the reverse die, for the coin's back. The dies imprint the design onto the planchet. Off-center strike, similar to a misaligned die, an off-center strike occurs when the planchet itself is not properly centered between the dies. This can produce coins where the design is shifted towards the edge of the coin, leaving part of the planchet blank. Double strike, sometimes, a coin is struck more than once, either by mistake or because it was not properly ejected after the first strike. A double strike can create a shadow effect on the design, with parts of the image appearing to be duplicated. Rarity and collectability, error coins, by their nature, are rarer than regular coins, as they are typically produced unintentionally and in small numbers. The rarity of a specific error, such as a center of strike issue on a 1966 Washington quarter, depends on several factors, severity of the error, Minor errors might be overlooked or dismissed by collectors, while significant errors, such as those that dramatically alter the appearance of the coin, are more likely to be sought after. Condition of the coin, as with all collectible coins, the condition of an error coin greatly affects its value. A 1966 Washington quarter with a center of strike issue in uncirculated or near uncirculated condition will generally be worth more than one that has been heavily circulated. Market demand, the value of error coins can fluctuate based on collector interest. Certain types of errors may be more popular at certain times, which can drive up prices. The value of a 1966 Washington quarter with a center of strike issue can vary widely based on the type and severity of the error, as well as the condition of the coin. Some general guidelines for determining the value of such a coin include, common error values, minor misalignments or weak strikes might only add a modest premium to the value of the coin, with prices ranging from $50 to $200 above the face value, depending on the condition. Significant errors, more dramatic errors, such as a severe off-center strike affecting the center of the coin, can fetch much higher prices. These coins might sell for anywhere from $100 to several thousand dollars, particularly if they are in good condition and show a significant portion of the design missing or distorted. Market trends, as with all collectibles, market demand can influence prices. A rare error coin that attracts the interest of multiple collectors might sell for a higher price than expected, especially in a competitive auction setting or the 1965 Washington Quarter is an interesting and significant coin in American numismatics, primarily because it marks a critical transition in the composition of U.S. coinage. This quarter, part of the broader Washington Quarter series that began in 1932, represents the first year in which quarters were made from a copper nickel clad composition instead of the traditional 90% silver. This change was a direct response to economic pressures and changing market conditions in the 1960s. Below is a detailed exploration of the 1965 Washington Quarter, covering its history, significance, and value in the numismatic market. The Coinage Act of 1965 was enacted in response to these issues. This legislation removed silver from the quarter and dime entirely and reduced the silver content in the half dollar from 90% to 40%. The 1965 Washington Quarter was the first to be struck in a new copper nickel clad composition. The transition from silver to clad coinage, the transition from silver to clad coinage in 1965 was a watershed moment in U.S. monetary history. The decision to remove silver from circulating coins was not taken lightly, as it represented a significant break from tradition. For centuries, silver had been a primary metal used in coinage, symbolizing wealth and stability. However, the economic realities of the 1960s, including the rising price of silver and the increasing demand for coins, necessitated a change. The Coinage Act of 1965 not only altered the composition of quarters but also banned the minting of silver dollars for five years and removed mint marks from all coins between 1965 and 1967 to discourage hoarding by collectors. The public initially resisted the new clad coins, as they lacked the intrinsic value of their silver predecessors. However, over time, the clad coins became accepted as people grew accustomed to the new composition.
Market value, the value of a 1965 Washington quarter in a numismatic market depends on several factors, including its condition, grade, any potential errors, and its historical significance. Because the 1965 quarter was produced in large quantities, over 1.8 billion were struck at the Philadelphia Mint, it is generally common and not particularly valuable in circulated condition. Circulated condition, most 1965 quarters found in circulation today are worth only their face value of 25 cents. Coins that show heavy wear or damage have little to no numismatic value beyond their use as legal tender. Uncirculated slash mint state, an uncirculated 1965 quarter, one that has never been used in commerce and retains its original mint luster, is more valuable. Mint state coins are graded on a scale from MS60 to MS70, with higher grades indicating fewer imperfections. As of 2024, an MS65 1965 quarter might be valued around $10 to $50, while a coin graded MS67 could fetch $300 or more. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. Errors and varieties, as mentioned earlier, error coins, particularly those struck on silver planchets, are rare and highly sought after. A 1965 quarter struck on a silver planchet could be worth several thousand dollars or more, depending on its condition and the weight of the silver content. Conclusion, the 1965 Washington Quarter is a significant coin in American numismatics, symbolizing a critical shift in the nation's approach to coinage. While not rare, it is a coin that every serious collector should consider adding to their collection, if only for its historical importance. The change from silver to copper nickel clad coinage was a necessary response to economic pressures, and the 1965 Quarter stands as a testament to that period of transition. Whether as a historical artifact or a collectible in mint condition, the 1967 Washington Quarter is part of the long-running series of Washington Quarters that began in 1932. The Washington Quarter was originally introduced to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. It quickly became a permanent part of American coinage, replacing the Standing Liberty Quarter. Over time, the Washington Quarter has undergone several changes in its design, composition, and production, reflecting broader trends and changes within the U.S. Mint and American society. The Washington Quarter was originally made from 90% silver and 10% copper. However, due to rising silver prices and a nationwide coin shortage in the early 1960s, the U.S. Mint made significant changes to the coin's composition. The Coinage Act of 1965 mandated the elimination of silver from dimes and quarters, leading to the introduction of a new copper nickel clad composition for these coins. Production of the 1967 Washington Quarter The 1967 Washington Quarter was struck during a period of high demand for circulating coinage. The U.S. Mint produced an enormous number of these coins to meet the needs of the economy, as the nation was still recovering from the coin shortage of the early 1960s. In 1967 alone, over 1.5 billion Washington quarters were minted, making it one of the most common dates for the series. Because of the large production numbers and the lack of a mint mark, 1967 Washington quarters are widely available today and are generally not considered rare or valuable in most conditions. However, the sheer number of coins produced also meant that the quality of the strikes could vary, with some coins exhibiting weak details or poorly defined features. Varieties and errors, while the 1967 Washington Quarter is not known for having any particularly notable varieties, there are still a few errors and anomalies that can be found among the coins from this year. Some of these include, double die obverse although not as prominent as in some other years, a double die obverse, DDO, error can sometimes be found on 1967 quarters. This error occurs when the die used to strike the coins is misaligned, resulting in a doubling of some of the design elements on the obverse. Coins with this error can be more valuable to collectors. Clipped planchets. A clipped planchet occurs when the metal blank, planchet, that is used to strike the coin is not properly cut, resulting in a coin with a curved or straight section missing. Clipped planchets can vary in size and shape, and while they are relatively common as errors go, they are still of interest to error coin collectors. Off-center strikes, an off-center strike occurs when the planchet is not properly aligned with the dies during the striking process, resulting in a coin that is not centered correctly. The degree of the off-center strike can vary, and coins that are significantly off-center can be quite valuable. Die cracks and cuts Die cracks occur when the die used to strike the coins develops a crack, resulting in raised lines or cracks on the surface of the coin. A cut is a more severe form of die crack where a portion of the die breaks away, leaving a raised, blob-like area on the coin. These types of errors can add interest and value to a coin. Value of the 1967 Washington Quarter The value of a 1967 Washington Quarter depends on several factors, including its condition, any errors or varieties it may have, and the overall demand for the coin among collectors. In general, 1967 quarters are very common and can often be found in circulation even today, so their value in circulated condition is usually just face value, 25 cents. 
Mint State 63, MS 63 A 1967 Washington quarter in MS 63 condition might be valued at around $30 to $50. These coins will have a good strike, full details, and minimal marks or abrasions. Mint State 65, MS 65 A 1967 quarter in MS 65 condition could be worth around $100 to $500. These coins are well struck with strong luster and only minor imperfections. Mint State 67, MS 67, in very high grades, such as MS 67, the value of a 1967 Washington quarter can increase significantly, potentially reaching $1,000 or more. Coins in this condition are nearly flawless, with sharp details and brilliant luster. Coins with recognized errors or varieties, such as the double die obverse, can be worth more, depending on the rarity and demand for that specific error. For example, a 1967 Washington quarter with a well-defined double die obverse could be valued at $1,500 or more, depending on the severity of the doubling and the overall condition of the coin.